Hey there everybody, Destroyer X here, and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. It's been a while since I've actually done a, a commentary over this game, so you know what? I have some free time today. Let's do some commentary, shall we? Let's show. <laughs> well, we have managed to defeat Mac in the last part. We've defeated all of the shysters, so now we're going to head to the Kiro Sewers. And that will lead us to Tadpole Pond. So here we go. This is the entrance. Hmm, looks simple enough. Grandpa says, watch out for Balloon, whoever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. Don't worry about the dark, it's not a it's not a it's no not a factor at all. So Mallow, how did you get to the Mushroom Kingdom? <laughs> I don't know. There's a safe block, but I'm not going to use it because that would end my LP this part pretty early if I was to use it right now. <laughs> so we're going to ignore it and move on. Read directions on how to enter. Sure, why not? Stand on the pipe and push down on the control pad. If you're pressing several buttons at the same time, you will not be able to enter. To re-enter a pipe, jump off once and try again. We're going to encounter some new enemies in this t particular part, so let's get to it. There is an enemy right there. That particular enemy, its name is Gobi. And Gobi is just pretty much a cheat sheep from Super Mario Brothers. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Gobi is pretty weak. It only has 40 hit points, and it has a special weakness to Thunder, which... I don't use because, well, Gubby's weak, so I don't bother with it. Hmm, <laughs> do, 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 do. But Gobi's not the only new enemy that we encounter in this part. Oh, Gobi can jump out of the water. Isn't that lovely? I should be a little bit more surprised, but I'm not. <laughs> There's another enemy type. That one is a Boo Diddly, or a Boo Buddy, depending upon if you if you're talking about Mario 3 or Mar Super Mario World. But in this game, that Boo is called the Big Boo. <laughs> the Big Boo. The Big Boo. Well, what can I say about the Big Boo? The Big Boo is it only has 43 hit points and it has no weakness. No special weakness. And that other thing right there, that is Shadow. Shadow has no weakness. It has 85 hit points. But if you defeat a Shadow, well, meh. Eh, you get to defeat a Shadow. <laughs> but if you defeat the Big Boo, you get some pure water. And Mario managed to level up to level 6, and he managed to learn Super Jump. Super Jump is pretty nifty, which I'll go into Super Jump here in just a little bit. One thing I did not mention about Shadow is that Shadow does have an effect called... It does have an ability called Endo Bubble, which if who, whichever character ha is um, exposed to Endo Bubble, well, they get a fear effect. And Rat Funk just poisoned us. So until the, the until the effect wears off, um, we're gonna lose some HP. So it's not too bad because the H the amount of HP I lose is low. But oh well. Elegy, that's not good. Uh Elegy. It what Elegy does is basically. It gives us a silence effect, which means we cannot use special attacks with the Y button. But the effect wears off after a while, so... Hmm. Oh well, it's not too bad. And... Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Hmm. Do 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 do... So not bad, we managed to get some more pure water. What does pure water do? Well, we're about ready to find out. 
we'll scroll over to it. It defeats ghosts in a wink. But there's a drawback to using pure water for that particular purpose. You will not get any HP. You won't get any experience points for from that enemy for doing that. So uh, I just don't do it. Ooh, we get a flower! Yay! <laughs> and sometimes you'll notice that you're gonna start to notice that sometimes some enemies will start to run away from you in battle. Whether it's in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the battle, sometimes they'll run away, but not always. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else can I say about this place? Well, I can read through the strategy guide and it will tell me. But first, hmm, there's a pretty nice treasure chest right there. Not bad. Let's go ahead and hit it. We'll get something. Let's do it. Let's do it. What am I doing? What are you doing, Mario? Hmm, what am I doing? Okay, so I learned a new Mal learns a new technique at level six. I'm using HP rain. Why am I using HP rain? Oh no! I mean, it's just a. I mean, what am I doing? Oh no! That's an enemy. Yes, it is. That particular treasure chest houses an enemy called Panderite. It has 300 HP and well, it's weak against jump attacks. So this is me using Super Jump. So if I use time hits with the Super Jump, I can bounce over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until I mess up the timing. So, yeah. I managed to knock off 218 HP just, th just through me doing timed hits. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> so yeah, it's not too bad. Super jump is awesome! And what do I get for my troubles? I get a flower jar. I get, I get Mallow to level up to level 6. Wow! He learns Psychopath. Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> well, I'll go into what Psychopath does here in just a little bit. And I also get a True Form Pin. Interesting. What does the True Form Pin do? The True Form Pin, you won't be turned into Mushrooms or Scarecrows. Man, eh, that sounds useful. Let's go ahead and equip that to Mario. But let's get into what Psychopath does. Ooh, there's the Star Piece menu. Which, well, mm, it's not that impressive. It just tells me how many star pieces I have. Oh yes, Psychopath. Um, if you use Psychopath, then what will happen is you can read, you can find out how many HP that particular enemy has left. And if you use, if you time it just right with a timed hit, then you'll be able to read that person's mind. It's amazing. Sometimes they'll have interesting things to say, and other, other times they just won't. So, it just depends on the enemy. But, let's see. <laughs> what else can I say about this place? I don't know. But I bet this strategy guide will tell me. <clears throat> Here we go. The devious denizens of the drink of the deep like to slip something nasty into your drink. Neutralize their poison attacks by equipping both Mario and Mallow with antidote pins. Ooh, Starman! Do I level up? Do I level up? No, I don't. Oh well. Let's see. Well, of course, antidote pens, they're available at the Mushroom Kingdom item shop. Needless to say, critters that live in sewers like their water nice and yucky. That looks pretty clear to me. So give them the willies by tossing vials of pure water their way. Which, 
I've already mentioned that pure water only works against ghosts. But, oh well. Many surrender this wond wondrous potion after being beat on, so you should be able to make, make it through the sewers in pretty good shape. Pure water won't work against gobies, but Mallow's Thunderbolt will. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. <laughs> well, what else can I say? <laughs> Doesn't. Mm, not much, really. Um, what I'm trying. Occasionally, I will pause in the during the L during this particular part, and that's because I'm looking in the strategy guide to figure out where I need to go. Uh, because I kind of lose my way. Which is pretty embarrassing to say it now, but oh well, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's okay. Oh no, are we gonna battle Panda Right again? Nope, we're gonna get some coins. <laughs> yep, Panda Right is gone. We don't have to worry about battling Panda Right ever again. But where do I go though? I mean, I don't know where to go. Hmm. I didn't mean to run into the Gobi, but oh well, not it's not like Gobi's a threat. <laughs> I love the music in this game. It's, the music is incredible. Everybody should get the soundtrack to this game because it is awesome. I don't have the soundtrack, but I've downloaded some MP3s of this of this um, soundtrack from the internet and whatnot. It's pretty awesome. But yes, we need to make our way towards that pipe right there. So we just need to jump onto the sledge right there. Jump over that rat funk, and we're good to go. See that green switch with an exclamation mark on it? That We need to actually hit that switch. And what will happen when we hit that switch? Well, something amazing will happen. We'll see. The water has been drained. <laughs> what that means is, with the exception of the beginning area when you first enter the sewer, the water has been completely drained. So, it's not too bad. Oh wow, my items are full. That's not good. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some honey syrup. Now I'm, out of, now I'm out of honey syrup. That's poopy. That is very poopy indeed. Okay, there's a treasure chest there. And there's another treasure chest there, but I can't get to it. There is a way, you can get to it via a glitch that you can exploit, but beyond that, you can't get to it until later on in the game. Th this must be Balloom! Is that a fire hose or his tongue? It, that's his tongue. M -ho -ho. Ugh, it's a snack attack, and you're it! Boss battle time! Here we go! This is Balom. Balom has 500 hit points and he has a weakness against Thunder. But we're gonna use Super Jump and let's see how much. Let's see how much HP we can knock off of him. With that particular assault, we are able to knock off 121 hit points. Not bad. And let's see what Psychopath says. We have 379 hit points to go. I just want to sleep. Ooh, room service has been very kind to me. Where's my bib? And he smacks us with his tongue. That's not good. That's very rude. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 115 hit points knocked off. Let's see what Mallow can do with Thunderbolt. 50 hit points. Stick for a body. Head full of straw. 
Give me a scarecrow! Raw, raw, raw! Scarecrow funk! Doesn't look too impressive, does it? That's because Mario has that true form pin, which would prevent him from being turned into a scarecrow. If he is a scarecrow, then Mario can only use special attacks and he can only use. Well, he can only defend himself, and that's it. He can't use regular attacks and he cannot access items. Ninety-three hit points left. C can't st stand it. The hunger. The hunger. And he eats mallow. That's not good. Balone will spit mallow out after a while, but it's not too much of a threat. I mean, Balome is done almost. One more hit should do it. That's it. That was scary, I bet. If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood! And Balome is gone. He is gone, he is gone, he is gone. <laughs> and with that, well, what what will happen now? Let's find out. Balome must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Er, Mario, do you hear something, or is it just me? Water! Here he comes! Quick, Mario, hit the button before we're washed away! And we're washed away! We're washed away to the top of the waterfall! This is the Midas River course! Want a crash course on it? Sure, why not? You start, you'll start off first at the falls, which is the Midas Waterfall. Use control to move Control pad to move left or right and score coins. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Meaning swim up the waterfall, which you can do a little bit. See? Along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. Now off you go! As you can see, there are a few frog coins that you can collect on the on the waterfall section. There's actually four water four frog coins that you can collect from this section alone. I don't collect them all on the first trip, but it's okay. <laughs> um, there are some tunnels that you can go into to kind of warp ahead a little bit. Um, some tunnels are actually pretty special. This particular tunnel right here. We can see these characters interacting and whatnot. Ooh, a flower! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on! And come on! We got a flower! <laughs> there is another tunnel in on the on the waterfall that will actually have a flower, but we won't be getting to it in this part because I missed the tunnel that I needed to go into. So we'll get it on part 7. <laughs> but as far as the river goes, I mean, you can collect up to four um, Midas river coins on the water. I mean, four frog coins on the Midas waterfall alone. Now we get into the barrel jumping event. Here's what we can do on the barrel event. Barrel jumping. Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're, on, you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. Almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop, that pop up or you'll lose coins. Now, there's a particular if you're pretty good at the barrel jumping event, you can collect up to 64 coins just by 
knowing the patterns of the coins here. But, mm, first time people probably won't figure out the pattern. Now, as far as the river goes, I mean, this is it. Um, at the end, whenever you complete the, the course, you can actually get up to, um, uh, let's see, the first time you actually complete the coins, the course, you have the option of, for a first time only bonus, you can trade in 60 minus river coins for ro one frog coin. Unfortunately, I don't get 60 coins, but it's okay. <laughs> Subsequent trips, though, you'll have to... that The price goes up to 80 coins... 80, 80 minus river coins for one frog coin. And one would probably think, Ooh, this would probably be a good way to rack up some money. Not really. Um, minus river coins you can only use on the minus river course. So, that's too bad. <laughs> Oh well, I managed to get... Oh well, I didn't get enough for a fried coin, but it's okay. It's okay, no problem. But, for my trouble, I do get an item from this particular Mushroom Kingdom person right here. I get a knock-knock shell. Ooh, what does the knock-knock shell do? Who can use the knock-knock shell? Well, Mario's the only person that can use the Knock Knock Shell, and it will raise his base attack power by 20. And with that, that is everything that we I can talk about the river for a while. I mean, there's not much else I can say about the river. But I will be going back to the river in Part 7, so if you like the video, please feel free to like the video on YouTube. If you like my channel, please feel free to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, please feel free to leave me a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So until next time, everybody, ciao for now!